together for vultures. Vultures, what magnificent birds they are. We strive to create a future in which all of Europe's four vulture species thrive and see them flying wide across Europe again. But how do we achieve this? It all started with a dream to bring the bearded vulture back to the Alps. Wrongly accused of killing sheep, the species was hunted and poisoned to extinction with the last bearded vulture shot and killed at Aosto Valley in Italy in 1913. To bring them back, the foundation for the conservation of bearded vultures, now the Vulture Conservation Foundation, brought together a network of vulture experts. Our aim was to establish a program for captive breeding and reintroduction of bearded vultures in the Alpine region. We released the first birds in 1986 at Hohe Tauern National Park in Austria. And in 1997, the first breeding pair successfully raised a chick in the wild. Today, there are 250 bearded vultures including 50 breeding pairs across the Alps. It is considered one of the best wildlife comeback stories of all times. This success fuels our current commitment to continue to reintroduce the species to the wild. Hi, I am Alex Jopisdale. I'm a vet and working for the Bearded Vulture Conservation Foundation since 2013. We have five ongoing reintroduction projects. One still ongoing, the older one in the Alps, which started in 86. A second one we started in 2006 in Andalusia. Then afterwards we start to have also a, a reintroduction project in Massi Central. This project has the function to build a bridge between the Pyrenees the autochthon population with the Alp and reintroduced population. In 2015, finally, we decided to start also a reinforcement project in Corsica because the population was declining rapidly in the last decade. And now the last one project started last year in the Maestrazgo with the same function as the Massif Central, building a bridge between Andalusia and also the Pyrenees. In addition to the bearded vulture, we are committed to the conservation of all species of Europe's vultures. The Cenarius vulture, Egyptian vulture, and Griffin vulture. For the past few years, we have been sustainably growing our conservation actions and seeing the return of vultures across Europe. Known to use tools for feeding, the Egyptian vulture is unfortunately considered endangered. Over half its population declined in the last three generations, but conservation initiatives are fighting to protect it. Through the Life Rupus project in the Douro Valley, we are monitoring their movements to understand their behaviour and inform conservation actions. Together with our partners, we are reducing Egyptian vulture mortality and improving breeding success in the region. The Griffin vulture, which is the most social of Europe's vultures, faced a dramatic decline in Europe over the 20th century. It is now thriving again, with its breeding population exceeding 35,000 pairs in Europe alone. We are boosting local populations by transporting birds from Spain to Sardinia, Bulgaria and soon to Cyprus under different life projects. 
Europe's largest vulture, the Cinereus vulture, declined in numbers and became extinct in some European countries over the last 200 years. It has fortunately rebounded and increased its population in Spain tenfold. Cinereus vultures have recolonized Portugal, have been reintroduced in France, and now, in a historic conservation initiative, we are bringing the species back to Bulgaria after their extinction in the 20th century with the Vultures Back to Life project. For vultures to thrive, multiple threats need to be mitigated, such as electrocution and collision. We bring people together to exchange knowledge and carry out hands-on conservation actions. These vary from selecting pole designs that are less dangerous to burrowing lines in high biodiversity areas with our Life and MAVA funded projects. But the biggest threat vultures face worldwide is illegal wildlife poisoning. This was the main conclusion of the Vulture Multi-Species Action Plan, co-developed by us here at the VCF and endorsed by the Convention for Migratory Species. It is a global strategic blueprint that identifies priorities and actions to conserve 15 Old World Vulture species. In Europe, we are actively pursuing different lines of work to fight illegal wildlife poisoning, among which is the Balkan Anti-Poisoning Project funded by the MAVA Foundation. Through this project, we are funding and working with local partners in Albania, Bosnia-Herzegovina, Croatia, Greece, North Macedonia and Serbia to eradicate this illegal and highly damaging practice. Why all this effort to protect these scavengers, which have a bad reputation? Well, in fact, it's their scavenging lifestyle that makes them play a crucial role in the mountainous habitats in which they live. They do the dirty work of cleaning up after death, acting as natural carcass recyclers and providing great socio-economic value to local communities. Protecting vultures means the protection of the entire European mountain ecosystems. So, join us, support us, and follow our work to be a part of helping these magnificent and useful scavengers. Together for vultures.